Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to cover the description and operation of the propane system on a Casita travel trailer. On our system here we still have the hard propane tank cover that uh, came from the factory. We still use it. The only problem is we can't lift it straight off because we added the Stromberg Carlson tray on the top. So what I did is I drilled out the rivets and as you can see here I put uh, tie wraps in the side on this side and then I've got uh, nuts on the other side so what I do is I just uh, unlock the lid first here open it up so it's out of the way and I'll take a pair of uh, wire cutters and I just cut the uh, tie wraps off and then once I've got all the tie wraps off pull them out of the way here I just go around to the other side and I just pull the cover straight out and it'll come straight out to the side and uh, still gives me access to my tanks and using the cover like this still gives me plenty of uh, uh, protection for my tanks but I still got good access. Alright let's go around and talk about the actual tanks now. Now my system just came out of storage so let's go ahead and turn the gas on. If you watch this little indicator right here before I turn the gas on you'll see it go from red to green that's because we, it has pressure now and it senses gas in the tank. So let's go around and turn the other tank on. And you got to remember the Casita travel trailer comes with two tanks here. And on the top here you're going to have the actual switchover valve. And then below that is going to be the actual uh, regulator. And um, we're going to go ahead and call this tank the passenger tank. And this tank the driver's side tank because that's the sides of the trailer they're on for this demonstration. Now first thing you want to do is you want to always check this uh, hold down bracket to make sure that it's secure because they do come loose over time and after you first put the tanks in there they need to settle in so always check that. The passenger side tank obviously comes out and goes into this side of the switchover valve. The driver side tank obviously comes out and goes into this side of the switchover valve. Okay, The way we're set up right now the handle here is to the passenger side tank. So the system is drawing gas from the passenger side tank only and the driver side tank is doing nothing. When the gas runs out in the passenger side tank this valve will sense it because it will lose pressure over here and it will actually automatically switch over to the driver side tank. And this little indicator that you saw just a minute ago will go red. Once it goes red, all, right, all you're going to do is you're going to switch this valve over and now it's, you'll see it's got supply on the top and now it's taking off the driver's side tank. This indicator will go back green. At that point you can turn this valve off, unhook this tank and take it out and go fill it. Now the system works either way. If I had it set up like this initially, I'm drawing off the driver's side tank passenger side tank was full. If the driver's side tank goes empty, this switchover valve will automatically switch over to the passenger side tank and this indicator would go red, at which time you would just switch it back over to the passenger side, turn off your driver's side tank, disconnect it, and get it filled. So it'll work either way. It's whichever way you have it set up. Now the manufacturer of this automatic switchover says this valve has to either be to one tank or the other. Do not run this valve in the middle. It's designed to be on one tank or the other. Now that we've talked about the tanks and the regulators here, let's go ahead and look at the system that uh, the piping that goes through the actual trailer. Comes from the switchover through the regulator here, down through the black tubing underneath it, and then we're going to crawl under the trailer here. It comes underneath the trailer, and once it hits underneath the trailer, it's going to hit a basically a connection with different pipes coming into it. Now, how this set up is depends on which casita you have. On ours, we have two pipes that come down the uh, driver side of the trailer. One of them's going to the stove, and one of them's going to the water heater and the furnace. The pipe going down the passenger side of our trailer goes to our actual refrigerator. And here again, like I said, it depends on which model you have as to how your pipes. But they're going to be copper pipes under here. Now, 
ours coming down the driver's side, you'll see that this pipe goes in here and that's going to our stove. And then you've got a T here on the other pipe, which goes up to the furnace. And then from there, the gas is going to continue on back to the water heater. Now, if you don't have a furnace, you're not going to have the second pipe here. So if you ever do uh, put a gas furnace in, you're going to have to put that pipe. Now, once we get back to the water heater on our trailer, the uh, gas is going to come up through the floor of the trailer, and then it's going to come out this line right here and into the gas valve. This is the gas valve for the water heater. Let's go around now and look at the refrigerator. Now the gas line for the refrigerator is going to come around. It's going to come up through the bottom of the trailer. It's going to go uh, come in right here and it's going to go up through the side cabinet. And it's going to come over and down and into the refrigerator cabinet. And then it's going to be the gas line you see right here. And that's going to go into the actual gas valve which is right here for the refrigerator. This is a look under the cabinet and the uh, under the sink in my trailer and I just wanted to show you some of the copper lines. Basically anytime you see copper lines in the trailer they're going to be gas lines. So just be careful with them. Make sure you uh, don't damage them anyway. Now that we've talked about the physical portions of the gas system, let's talk about operating it here. Um, like I told you before, my trailer's been in storage for a little while so Anytime your trailer's in storage or if your tanks run out of gas, there's a good chance that you've got air in the lines. Or if you've had to do any maintenance to your gas lines, you're going to have air in the lines. So a quick way to do it is uh, to come to your stove here, get a hand lighter, and you want to take that hand lighter and use it to light the actual burner. And you'll see here in just a minute when I put the lighter over there, I'm going to turn the stove on and it's going to take a few minutes for the actual air to get out of the system and the gas to light the uh, actual stove up. You see that I'm holding it here for a few minutes, so that's all air that's in the line. And then eventually, there you go, it lights, and now I've got all the air out of the system. And you'll see I light the other burners now and they light right away. There's no, uh, no delay or anything. And the reason you want to do this is because your uh, water heater and your refrigerator when you first turn your propane system on and you bring your system out of storage or you've refilled it, uh, when you turn your water heater or your refrigerator on, they're going to try to light off the gas. And if there's no gas in the system, it'll try several times and then they'll lock it out because they think they've got a problem. So then you got to cycle everything on and off to get it, the refrigerator or that working. So to use the stove here to get the air out of your system and you won't have any of those issues. Now that we've covered all the uh, operation, let's go ahead and uh, put the cover back on. You'll see that I just slid it on and the holes here, I'm going to go ahead and put tie wraps through. You can see where they're tie wrapped in there. And now my cover's back on and secure and uh, my tanks are protected. Now that we covered the actual propane system and operation of it and maintenance of it, what we're going to do is uh, look at our how we monitor our propane system. Now this is a system you can buy. Uh, you can buy a display that goes in your uh, trailer. I bought just the sensors and used my phone app. Uh, this one I bought, initially I was going to install these permanently on the tank. And it comes with two sensors, comes with silicone, and it comes with uh, stand-up legs that you need to uh, put it on the tank. The problem is the bottom of the tray that holds the propane tanks on the casita and on a lot of trailers is open so these are held on by magnetics so i'm worried about if i hit a hard enough bump it's going to pop that out and that's going to end up on the ground somewhere and i just lost a propane sensor but with that being said you could tape it on but i don't want tape on the bottom of my uh, trailer so what I do is I know about how much propane I use over time. So before every trip or if I'm on a long trip, I'll take one of these and I'll show you how to do it in just a minute. I'll go out and I'll put it on the bottom of each tank and read how much is in each tank. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now the sensors, like I said, comes with two sensors, okay? And you can see the two sensors here. 
all right and then they have a protective tape on the back that goes over the uh, piece where it's actually um, reading so uh, what we're going to do is on the one we're going to use we're going to take the tape off I've already downloaded the app on my phone so here's the app on my phone and what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to see if it sees my devices because I've paired these once before okay and you can see it's not on the get tank so it's saying my tanks empty so let's go ahead and uh, let's go out and we'll hook this up and uh, see how it works now one thing you want to do is you want to take a paper towel or something that's wet with you because you want to clean the bottom of that tank so let's go see how this works all right so first thing we're going to do we're going to clean the bottom of both tanks and you want to clean right here in the center on both tanks we'll just make sure there's no dirt no grime or anything down there hey okay, you can see we've got it on the bottom of the tank there that's the tank we've been using and you can see that it says it's at 79 percent so let's move it over to the other tank now and see what it says okay and you can see it says that tank is at 93 percent so we're good on that tank and that's how easy it is and then i just take the sensors back in with me all right and the last thing i want to cover here is our uh, propane alarm and it's going to be ours is on the bench on the driver's side at the bottom of the floor yours will be on the floor somewhere also uh, depending on which model you have but anyway this is going to detect any propane that's in uh, loose in the cabin of the rv and the thing about this is they do have a shelf life on them it's about five years and when this alarm uh, get, reaches the end of its life it'll start beeping at you and the red light will flash twice and then the green light will flash twice and that tells you that it's time to replace it at which time you will have to replace this alarm well that concludes our propane video we want to thank you for watching and we'll have links in the description below to our website where you can drop us a line or get information about the items that we use if you like the video go ahead and subscribe to the channel and if you want to help grow the channel go ahead and join and become a casita cassie member thank you for watching have a good day